we are back in beautiful Frankfurt. We just went to Munich for a couple days, so if you want to see more of that trip, which was amazing, check out my other vlog that I should have just posted right before this. So both should be out. This one's more for our NFL journey in Frankfurt. So today I have off. It's Saturday before the Pats Colts game. So I'm out with Mom and Wolfie. We are exploring. This is kind of the old square. This is really the best part in Frankfurt to go but we are seeing the turnover in fandom now. We're seeing more Pats fans. This is technically their home game, especially the Tom Brady era and stuff captivated a lot of European fans. So there are a good amount of Pats fans here. So we're just enjoying the day. We're gonna go on a little walk and then game tomorrow. Danny found the glue vine. Hi baby. You want more chocolate? Where's the giraffe? <laughs> right there? It's a big giraffe. Yay. Big giraffe. So we're back at this place for the second time on our Frankfurt tenure and we have both got the Wiener Shettle because it is so good. Mom substituted red cabbage. I stuck with the two variations of like potato salad and chicken butter salad. Sweater that we got in Munich. Very handsome. The most delicious bottle of Riesling that we have now gotten three times. And we are sitting on the Vine River tomorrow. Same day, so. Oh, where is he? There he is. Oh, where's Wolfie? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Where is he? Where's Wolfie? Uh, ah. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Hi. Hi. Um, just a little, yeah. Taste a little syrup. You have two? Oh my god, thank you. And both of these two are just asking for all these sweet treats on our way out. Hmm. I said both of you are just asking for treats. Exactly. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah, just see what you think that is. Oh. Like pear schnapps. Yeah, like yeah, schnapps. Is it German? Oh. <laughs> okay. That's a bike. Okay, this is your time to run, boy. You were so good at dinner, but this is it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chaka. Chaka, I told you we're going Chaka, this way. Going Chaka. Chaka. Okay. Here we come. King Wolfgang and Chaka. Good morning. It's game day in Frankfurt. Second game in two weeks here. I feel like I'm so comfortable. Like this feels like a, a home game, a home stadium situation. Like just knowing where to go and what to expect and where to be and everything. It's nice. Familiarity is a luxury. I actually was just saying that to my mom too when we checked back into this hotel. I was like, it's kind of nice just knowing our scenery, our setup. Um, today started very early. Wolfie got up about an hour earlier than usual. So that was very fun. Um, he had a large diaper to change, if you know what I mean. I'll spare you the details, but let's just say it took two people and a bath. Um, so that was a weird start to the day. 
Um, Mom is now getting him fed and breakfast. Last week she went to the game. This week she is not because these really aren't our teams, Colts or Patriots. Um, whereas last week she was excited to watch the Chiefs. So I'm glad you got to go to the game last week and we had a great sitter. So um, that all worked so well, but it is nice just knowing Wolfie's with my mom all day and they're gonna have a fun day. Last day in Frankfurt, she leaves super early in the morning for the States and we leave in the afternoon back home to London. Sam's actually gonna meet us at the airport, which is really nice. He is missing us something awful. He is missing us like crazy um, and we miss him so much too. He, he notoriously gets very stir crazy and bored when we're gone. Um, he hates, he hates when we have to leave for work because Wolfie usually has to come with me because I'm his mama. Just doing some makeup now. I actually had to start all the way over because it just wasn't laying right. And I never do that. I had to start from scratch. Like I did my full Elemis cleansing balm, just completely started from scratch. And um, it was for the best. <laughs> It was for the best, a full face wash and put my moisturizer back on and just uh, finished up some work and let everything relax. And then starting again now, I am wearing a turtleneck. So if you see a huge color disparity, it's not gonna matter because I'm covering up to here and I'm quite pale. It doesn't look like it really in this lighting, but so any, any color you do see is manufactured and necessary. Okay, there's the final makeup look. I'm doing my hair in kind of my go-to favorite high pony middle part, a couple pieces pulled down. I love it because I don't have to think about it the rest of the day, you know? It's out of my face. I don't have to worry about if it's staying curled, nothing. Okay, this jacket, I've gotta show you. I'm in love with this jacket. I got it in Munich. Look at the amazing detail. It is so cute, this like wool. I think I hear a baby crying coming back to my room. Not gonna lie, I was pretty worried about my skin today. I started breaking out once we got here. And last night I was going to bed, I was like, ugh, it's just such a horrible feeling when you have to be on TV and you know your skin isn't looking good. But I spent a lot of time <laughs> covering it up today. And I have to credit this IT Cosmetics CC cream that I use. It is my heaviest coverage and it's pretty foolproof. So I'm feeling a little bit better about that. I'm feeling very bright and festive in this bright Barbie pink, but I feel like this also kind of looks like German and kind of traditional. I love a theme. I love leaning into a theme. Here's our booth, here's a little room, a highlighter. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Reese. How badly do you want it back? I can have it? This is an amazing day, wow. This is my payment for both games, right? <laughs> just checking, just checking. No, no, no. Okay, I wanna stay out of here. Thank you. How cold is it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, set up. Amazing. Squad. Phoebe, let's see this outfit. This okay. outfit is so stunning. I'm so I, I get worried about your white pants going on this field. Uh, I don't know. Like Last week was good. Like it's like okay, Bill, let's see your outfit. Ooh. I mean, it's just I'm just trying to I'm just trying to roll with y'all. These are still so clean. It's, it's, it's really hard to match y'all skill set. So oh, given what I got, the skill set. That's it. So I'm just trying not to. Just... And a little sun coming through too. Okay. Ryan. Season. I leave it Holland Decker has more on this. 
Thanks, Neil. A lot has been made about a Boston Globe article this week that implies that a Patriots loss today could result in the firing of Bill Belichick. It's his worst record in 23 years, as you mentioned. It's his worst scoring offense and defense in all 29 years as a head coach. But upon hearing this and reading this, many people think that he deserves better than that for everything he's done for this franchise. A couple days ago, I spoke with someone close to the team that said things have been very tense between Coach Belichick and ownership, but the plan is to get through this rough season and reevaluate in a couple months, and that a midseason firing just feels a bit aggressive. We did note, though, that a shutout or a blowout or something unforgivable today, my source says they wouldn't be surprised if this is the end. So lots of fans and media, they're questioning if they might be watching history today. Of course, Friday, we all saw that Coach Belichick was uncharacteristic in his press conference in Frankfurt. He was joking. He was smiling with the press. Even one of his players saying, I've never seen him laugh that much. So everyone's speculating and reading between the lines in this topic is getting plenty of conversation around the world, certainly today in Frankfurt. And to add to some of the chaos in what's just a disappointing season and confusing week is two key players on both sides of the ball didn't make the trip. Cornerback J.C. Jackson and left tackle Trent Brown for officially personal reasons, but I'm told that it's, quote, questionable commitment to the team. Just add to the fire here today, guys. What did it require today? Um, it was just a real tough game, um, gritty game. There wasn't a whole ton of um, offense out there, and uh, defense kind of just kept us up, and uh, they really took care of the game for us. So uh, we were able to just lean on them. It's crazy to think it's the first game of the season. This offense hasn't reached 20 points. You guys have always put up points this season. What was the challenge? I mean, like, it's hard to say. I mean, I mean, like, there's a lot of factors that went into this uh, game. So members when the crowd was singing country roads Isaiah McKenzie quickly and quietly rips off a big kick return that was huge in the fourth quarter it set up a field goal why was that moment important yeah um, I mean because that just like I think we got three points off of that one and uh, it like kind of broke that like stalemate because like they got this I like, win for us 
Congratulations, Michael. Enjoy the plane ride home. Thank you. Whole crew making our way to the hospitality suite following Jason Bell. <laughs> Said he's like the Pied Piper. After we just finished our game, but also look how no one leaves the stadium. Like the game's been over for at least 30 minutes. This is pretty cool. Very nice.